everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Rohit here, and if you guys are new to this channel, check out my other content too. I vlog as an international grad student in the US, and yeah, in this video, I'm going to watch Ponyan Selvan today in New York City. That's the plan. I just planned it yesterday night. So yeah, let's see how it goes. I just reached my campus and I also got some hot chocolate. <laughs> uh, and on the way from the railway station to the campus, I had a meeting with a counselor. And now I'm gearing up for another meeting with my outreach director. So yeah, it's going to be a busy day. I'm just going to share a few details about that. But for those who don't know about the movie, to, and to give those guys a bit of a background, Pony and Selvan is actually an adaptation from a book which is written by an Indian author in Tamil language, Kalki Krishnamurti, and he wrote it. Uh, as a weekly as part of a weekly magazine from 1950 to 1954 and then it was combined into five volumes and released in 1955 and a lot of people have been waiting for for the movie to be not me my grandparents still not definitely not me i i haven't read the book at all i'm going with a blank slate but i kind of know uh, about each character uh, kind of summary at least it's a historical fiction which has happened during chora empire chora empire is history this is historical fiction it's drawing an imaginary line of what has happened during that time. So that is what this movie is about. And a lot of people have tried to make that movie. That, that's what interested me from a long time. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I kind of know that they have tried to make that movie because MGR, Shivaji Ganesh and all of those huge stars have tried to make that movie from what, 50, 60 years back. And then Kamal Hassan got the rights and then he tried to make the movie. But then Mani Ratnam now made it with an entirely different cast and... It's going to be amazing. I'm super excited about that. It's going to be my second movie in 2022. I, I mean, my first movie was Cage of I can go on talking about that movie. Oh, man. I went to uh, uh, to the theater. That's a different story altogether. <laughs> After a thousand days, I, I was in the theater for that movie and it was all worth it. I was in more, more than 10 times. So. I think after uh, 15 minutes Body of letting the seats, I find it inside the seat. F6, F5, F6 is as a visual. There's nobody in the theater right now, so I can uh, lift this and I can ride it out. So like, nobody will say anything. It's gonna be fun. Woohoo! I'm super excited. I was going to see it. It's like uh, paying and watching. I mean, instead of watching on a laptop, I'm watching it in the theater. With all theatre uh, experience, I always okay, thought I when I saw KGF uh, uh, alone, I was like, oh, I should have seen it in theatre, but now I'm going to see the movie in theatre alone. And, oh, I'm super excited. I was like, it's going to be amazing. Like, KGF 2 is like going from here to KGF and all that. Ooh, let's see how it goes. So, this is my second movie, and it's my first movie in New York City, and I hope it doesn't happen like KGF 2 being the only one. Uh, okay, uh, but yeah, I'm super excited about that. And Rajni, sir, I'm a huge fan of him, Rajni, sir, and he has promoted that movie, means it's a big thing altogether for me. So, yeah, I'm super excited about that to watch the movie, to share about my reviews, and to share about what's happening in my day. It's just another random day, and uh, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this. My meeting with my outreach director, we are discussing regarding internships and all this stuff. situation i was like yeah this is this is what hrb students are doing this is what opd extension people are doing so yeah uh but then uh it's all about hope right trying to you are trying to break the path and then be a rebel break the path be deviant trying to uh explore new fields something which is not typically done so it's hard to get the work authorization but that's what I live in. That's what I enjoy. That's the adventure here. That's the room venture. Uh, so yeah, uh, I just finished that meeting. And now, um, I mean, uh, all the time I've been working all that. Now I have my work, which is starting in one and a half hours. So till then I have some brief time. There's a video coming out. Today it's the J conversation video, which is coming out. It's one of my special videos for me. So that's the video which is coming out. 
टूडे सो टूडे इज अक्टोबर सेवेंथ फ्राइड फ्राइडे एंड इट्स अ फ्राइडे मैं लास्ट मूवी वॉज ऑल्सो ऑन फ्राइडे टूडे इज मै थर्टी एथ मूवी इन थिएटर हो हो थर्टी एथ मूवी थर्टी एथ मूवी इज लाइक कॉन्फर्ट यू नो सो या बट या आउट इज डायरेक्टर शी गेम इज सम होप एंड दैट्स वॉट आई बीन लिविंग विथ सो या राइट नाउ विद दिस टाइम आई एल बी टॉकिंग टू माई फैमिली कैचिंग अप विद दैम सो twice thrice uh, i talked to my parents twice and then trying to keep in touch that's what i have been doing with my friends sometimes it's hard but yeah i have to uh be that and yeah we'll be talking to my family now today is friday and that's where the campus seems to be pretty empty till hall at the help desk to say hi to people and now i'm going back earlier i was at the clj my building and uh, i have my shift at ingle hat at 12 which is right next to CLJ so from there i came here just to see hi see that's how much i love my fellow consultants now i'm going back there for my shift right now i'm at the lab today it's just a short shift technically it's an open shift and i decided to cover it since i was on campus and yeah i was just talking to my friends and family it's clocked out of work and now i'm going towards blumenthal hall for peer education training and there it's going to be around 4 4 hours plus 2 hours for office So six hours there, and today Charlie put new album came out really nice and simple Charlie, and I was awake till twelve to listen to the songs, and then yesterday we had Pixel event Pixel yeah Pixel fam, and uh, right now I'm using older version of Pixel so when Pixel seven comes out I'm going to get that and I'll be shooting in that. Look at this I wrote work and someone wrote my name. Got pizzas here. for peer education a yeah, small activity and uh, show your creativity oh we were supposed to draw uh, like our hand but i did this and there is someone who drew a peacock and then i have a nazi party symbol please don't ask me why but yeah that's what we are doing yeah exactly pd is done we finished our training session and now it's time to go back home and freshen up i thought i'll go directly at first but now how does it go home back at penn station going back home it's friday night and a lot of people going towards new york city had some company on the way back so that was nice i came back home i freshened up got my jacket just in case and now i'm going to go to amc empire 25 which is in new york city amc is like a huge franchise in the us i had two choices one is to go to amc empire 25 which is in new york city and the other one is amc newport the newport one is a smaller theater and it cost around 15 dollars and the new york one is 18 dollars and it's a bigger theater so i wanted to go to new york city for the bigger uh, better experience either way i have to take the path and right now it's 8:30 and the show starts at 10:15 so i have a lot of time almost here in god of the train here just check the route and it is around a 15 minute walk from 33rd street to amc empire 25 I get so many people walking in and out around me. That's Empire State Building. It's Times Square right in front of me. You can see how bright it actually is. And I am like what, five to six blocks away. Look at this queue in front of Joe's Pizza for pizza. Wow, New York Pizza. so world famous and stuff for the thin crust near times square and the technical times square is that side but then i'm going to say there's a lot of people walking around one of the biggest tourist traps and the biggest tourist attraction in new york city is probably times square in my opinion but yeah so many bright lights dancing all this stuff but yeah it's so nice to vlog and stuff but yeah we are focusing on theater my 30th movie I'm more excited about the movie. Yeah, it was long day, but then the movie, oh my god, so many people, man, so many people. Look at the number of people around. That's Times Square. It's Harry Potter and then Regal Cinemas. The man of two sides. Oh, I should definitely go for this. And then there's Aladdin here. Wow. They have a rock statue outside. Wow! Look at this place. And then New York City's largest haunted house. The Dave and Buster's is here. Wow! Another nice place to watch uh, sports games and all that. And then Regal. 
AMC. Okay, that's where I have to go. A lot of pictures with rocks thing outside, and I was able to do the eyebrows kind of thing. I I can actually do that. <laughs> Everyone was staring at me, and they're like, "How is he able to do that?" I didn't know that a lot of people can't do the eyebrow thing, so that's new to me. But yeah, we are here at AMC. I just entered AMC, so let's book our ticket for Pony and Selvan One. Let's get our tickets. Tap to start. Purchase tickets, and let's look. Oh wow, no thumbnail for PS One. Okay, ten fifteen. Oh, three hours movie. Okay. I like long movies actually. Okay, it's eighteen dollars. And come on, come on, come on. Select the seats near the center. J for Jam Ravi. I'm a huge fan of Jam Ravi. So, J eight, J seven. Okay, super, super center. Yep. Now it's time for payment. We got this ticket along with some voucher. Going to fourth floor, which is screen 12, and we have the popcorn and stuff on the third floor. I have the habit of coming in early for movies. For Infinity War, I went to the theater three hours before itself. Now it's more than one hour for the movie to start, so they didn't let me in. So I'm just waiting outside. So yeah, there's still I'm super excited for the movie to start. It's a big screen, so it's going to be a lot of fun. And there are a few other people for KGF2. I was the only person in theater, but for uh, this movie, there. It's good that we have a few people. Look at the competition. Regal is right opposite AMC, and now I'm going up this huge flight of escalator. It's my second solo movie. KGF2 was my first solo movie. Why? First, because I'm still building my friends network. Second, I really don't know anyone who speaks uh, Tamil or anything around here. So I'm going in Tamil language because I don't know. I I, I feel like I should go for this movie in Tamil. I don't. Even though it's multilingual. Oh wow! Now again we have a bigger area here. So minus theater, twelve, screen twelve actually. You know the other thing about the US theaters is that we have a lot of screens here, and only in the beginning they check our tickets. Once you enter inside, I can go inside any screen. In India, we have people here outside who are checking. Uh, which which movie you are for? Uh, yeah, you are for this movie. Yeah, you can go inside. But here it's not like that. Right now, my uh, the movie starts in screen 12, but I can go in screen 10 and sit till then. So yeah, that's one thing which is really common around here. Let's go inside screen 9 and see which movie is playing. Okay. Oh, it's Avatar. Three release. Wow, 3D. Wow, look at those big theaters. Okay, there. Are... Very few people here, and they're staring at me. Avatar. Let's go in early to screen 12 and see how many people are actually come. Okay, 262 people capacity. Big screen, right? So, actually, even cage of two was similar screen like this. Oh, hello. Okay. Literally, nobody has come till now. And cold screen. About here is that even if it's just one person, also the movie will run. So that's what happened with KGF two for me. But yeah, looks like a big theater even for KGF two. It was the same story, uh, but for this time, luckily we have a few people to cheer together. Last time I only cheered, I only cried, I did everything for KGF two. It's the view from this top corner. This is really nice, big theater actually. No, I just came and sat to my seat. I'm the only one in theater, but I know that few seats are booked, so it there will be some audience. Yeah, nice curved screen. Ah, so many pl uh, plain seats. I wish I could get some more people to come and watch Tamil movies and appreciate the different languages. This is the view from my seat. Super excited! I am also the kind of person who prays before the movie. So yeah, I'm super excited. Yeah, to talk about the movie, I really enjoyed the movie. It was a long movie, and I actually like long movies. It was three hours, nearly three hours movie, and then in US theaters, there's no concept of intermission, so I sat through all of it. I mean, there it showed intermission, but then the movie continued just like that. And we had like what eight to nine people in the theater, so it was really empty. That a few random people came in and then uh, peeped in. They watched the Indian movie. Okay, yeah, they left. So that. That is one thing which is really common here, and then uh, each actor has played the character really, really well. And I kind of know briefly about each character because I read that in my childhood. 
uh, about the characters about the history but not about the historical fiction or about kalki but then before the movie i had some idea i did i did not go you know oh, yeah i don't know what but each character the songs are really good yeah rama songs and then mani ratnam mani ratnam shots the shots the kind of director he is i mean i, wa- I am a huge fan of talabadi movie and all that i remember watching talabadi movie i mean it released before uh, me but then i watched it later <laughs> that is what i meant uh, but then uh, each songs are really good the character character build up that twist and turn small 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 for beauty shot the chora chora song is something i really enjoyed a lot and then uh, there's a part which comes there right? that sangam part so uh, that that part is actually a uh, sloka kind of a uh, type but then i expect a lot something else from that song but in the movie they showed something else which is also really good so and then each and every character like the beautifully showed it and then i mean the twist and turn small small complexities i mean as a book i can think okay akalki would have given it in description like oh, so and so and they tried to do it into a movie so i really enjoyed that part that they tried to make it all into a movie so i'm really looking forward to the second part but yeah about the most important part you guys were see me take the last shot in the theater after that the commercial started and then i took my phone and saw that the display is gone so basically sound all of that is working but the display i couldn't do anything with that phone So I was like, oh my god, what should I do? I had two choices. Whether to get up, leave and worry about this or sit through the movie. So I decided to sit through the movie and like, uh, right now we came for the movie. Let's watch the movie. Later we'll worry about what to do. That thing, that part we'll leave it for later. And during the movie also, I didn't, I couldn't completely, 90, 100% I couldn't enjoy the movie. And 90, because those fight small, small scenes when you know the story isn't progressing too much forward. Those times I know, okay, what can I do? What should I do? What, I mean, I was thinking about the possible ways of what I can do. And in the theater also, I asked uh, one or two people, they didn't give their phone. and then uh, i came outside and then uh, i uh, somehow one person gave their phone he, he was like um, he was actually indian i asked all this i was doing my own psychology experiment which was uh, which people will help me and all of that but then uh, that guy uh, was like uh, um, if i was in your situation i wouldn't remember any number for some reason i missed two to three digits alone i missed the number i was like achcha chu i was i was thinking of all permutation combination in my mom's number alone and i missed two to three digits of all the time memory failed at that exact same time then i was like uh, it's okay i'll manage he was like are you sure and all that one thing about me is that in these kind of situations i am actually usually very calm and patient because those are times when you actually need to be that way if you are going to worry oh my god you're freaking out and all of that nothing will actually happen to calmly think and solve the problem you need to be patient and uh, be chill and think of what next to do so i was like will trace my ba- uh, way back home and then so yeah 33rd street is like this means uh, i know i have to go to 33rd street station and then the movie ended around uh, 130 something uh, 120 something and then came out all the this thing happened uh, there was uh, most of people were drunk and then uh, they, they all night life basically it was a uh, saturday morning so at friday night i went for the movie saturday early morning so yeah i was coming out and then i am coming i so i while going i was like i was so adventurous because that was like what wow, nearly 1 mile something i had to walk to go up i kind of followed the map and then i i was i had my own way of tracing but while coming back we know that 33rd street one junction only the station is right so we had to figure out some more if came figured out as like i will do it on my own i kind of know the way i'll retrace my steps yeah that was okay coming back uh, waiting for the subway some police already i had a long day full long day and all that and in between some police activity and the train was getting delayed so one na train was getting delayed i was like acha what is this it already days long and why is it happening so basically i came uh, then train started something and in the train i met one subscriber i i, I was thinking of all possible ways i asked him for spare phone he told he didn't have it and then i came back i reached home around 3 3 23 30 something and then it was kind of cold but then i i have comfort and all that plus i also don't feel that cold but uh, i just returned from said i just want to inside i am wearing bunny you know okay either way the point is heater also wasn't working and i, I was thinking of what to do and all of that then for some reason um, now phone also gone yeah, i was thinking of what is laptop is alone there laptop alone uh, i think for earlier to connect signal 
to laptop you need to scan it something like that was happening at time due to new update now i do, it doesn't require it so my first thing i called my mom and explained it. so and so happened i'm thinking of what else to do slightly i was on my brother was, and then my mom also said it's okay uh, patient patience and calmness that is the key to solve any problem that's when you can think properly if you freak out nothing you can solve right so i called my mom i explained so and so happened and all that next day so uh, somehow i woke up um, and then uh, yeah, the point is i have ma- many mail ids right haven't exactly right when because this week i have my assignment so weekend is when i can actually work on all the assignments and it happened exactly during that time for that there's due authentication for that it goes to phone i don't have spare phone no friends i was all on my own and then i was also think uh, thinking of what to do and all that and i could have called my uncle and explain all that but i did, didn't want to i didn't want to like trouble i wanted to do it on my own because i remember last december uh, my aunt was giving lecture uh, so and so happened we, i uh, we helped uh, i it was more like i helped uh, so and so person with this uh, they uh, they lost their phone they didn't have money we uh, we provided that time i decided if something like that happens in my case i'm not going to uh, my aunt and uh, i i don't want my story to be used that way if something happens i want to solve on my own so that was one thing i really uh, i was really clear about and then being in i mean all drama queen all that why all that is there but the big point here is lot of people if they are not international student if they haven't done study abroad if they are not international student they don't know what it's like to be i mean in most cases i yes i have a family member here but then uh, Uh, others usually come through friends each one has its own pros and cons in friends and you kind of build that way and all. each one has its own pros and cons in my case i couldn't even i don't have a phone and my roommates also didn't have spare phone they were also out so uh, neighbors did not give me stapler so what phone will i have so without any contact uh, in college also no contact i'm still built for friends i can make another video completely of why i still don't have any friends but then of uh, then for christ mail alone some of worked I, and uh, friends also lot from one was sick or something or the other happened and then i couldn't get in touch with a lot of people and then family alone i experienced so and so next day i woke up i was like i slept well directly uh, i decided to do brunch what brunch biryani and <laughs> it's like let's celebrate all that then uh, morning i woke up i decided to uh, check service and all of that Uh, nearby areas and then i went to one place uh, at that place uh, i th- there i did a small mistake i shouldn't have explained such a way that uh, this is my only thing everything has two factor authentication so i really need this phone this is like my only lifeline kind of thing i mean i didn't fr- one big thing about me is that i didn't freak out i'm really proud of that and then uh, th- he told 250 to 60 dollars i was like for a new i can get an if i double that i can get a new phone and google pixel 7 also uh, they launched it but they didn't release it and then i was like uh, should, i can get a new phone directly or something but then right i can't work because for everything there's authentication on top of that i also did two factor authentication so i definitely need my phone the, there's important data and then content data files so every single thing and then we had during the weekend we had a meeting arranged for homework so it happened exactly right when uh, it was important for me so that was the only annoying part but then i went to another place they were like sorry we don't do for pixel and i also use a pixel by the way it is a, a slightly older model for pixel and then uh, then this is such a iphone dominated society that getting a place to work for um, pixel or any android phone it's super hard even samsung also somewhat you get a pixel is kind of hard but then uh, usually then uh, what i did was i google again and again and then we usually don't go to the second and third page right so there in that uh, second and third page of google i found a uh, site where you fix it then uh, i decided i i already have my mom's uh, i gave my mom google voice number so that's more like a e sim kind of concept where you go it's uh, uh, attached to your google account and you can use it to call and it's right now only in the us so i asked my mom, mom to call the service and then he he told uh, so and so till they yes they will do it and the 132 dollars <laughs> best part was i decided to go there i wrote the directions in paper i navigated 2 2 and 1/2 miles of direction through paper 
it that to such a archive even if it's more archive it'll follow the stars and go and then i'm now some more and i get i made it some more i made it there i explains i need the sun so yeah there he told to uh give 100 dollars at deposit then i that 100 dollars is the daily transaction limit even if i had to get a new phone i had to first verify my identity because for my bank of america debit card you can lock it unlock it for some reason i kept it unlocked that is the best part and to increase the d- transaction limit and all, you i can set limits right you can customize all of that and to do that you again need phone to verify the identity so all those restrictions were there some i uh, withdrawn i left my sunglasses sunglasses also gone there. then i came back and then uh, gave and then i returned back i was like but then a uh, weekend my friend also mentioned think of it as mental break from uh, god uh, you have been working a lot so we can i uh, have assignments right there yeah, otherwise i wouldn't have worried so much so and then two it was my two uh, close people's birthday also one is roommate the other one from college so uh, in india so exactly happened right when i didn't it shouldn't happen so that and then the data also it is really important for me the phone data I, even if you have to uh, one at one point as like even if the phone was lost it would have been um, it would have been more satisfying because it's like you have the phone but then something like this happened so i wanted to solve it on my own and then uh, i went gave there and then two days later now now i went i called once again through mom and then went got my phone so i'm really happy that i got my phone for me to uh, do all of this on my own without any help that was like adventure or sort of row venture all the at the same time it was like yeah uh, for me i didn't because we went for the camping a lot of people need, for wifi itself for network wifi itself people are uh, dancing on their head oh yeah no network no boy, what will but the phone has become such an important part of our identity right so for me also uh, i am not a huge social media person or anything for me that assignments thing was that for me that i lost three crucial days of time where i am actually at home where the, for me to work on assignments i can't exactly work on it during my office hours or when i'm working for me i need that space to like be at home and then work on. i lost that time so the, during that time i just uh, worked on a laptop and then there was one content i had to edit so all of those parts i did but then uh, i ha- didn't have anyone to ask for help in terms of friends because even that thing was for each and every account i had said that uh, two factor authentication that is the only thing even, otherwise i could, i i i could i was thinking if i should go to js home ask if there's spare phone i didn't have the phone number everything was tied to google uh, contacts and then each and every single account was uh, was uh, had uh, two factor even instagram had two factor authentication youtube and then youtube i couldn't i literally couldn't do anything so i was stuck in between but then i was like it's okay fine let me solve all of this on my own like this is what it's like to do things in other cases maybe friends yeah it would have been easier in my case since they were all there like four to five hours like three to four hours away in my case i had to do all of this on my own so it was a good adventure all together i enjoyed the experience it's once in a while for me it's not something you would come across every day right for me being standard in a way in new york city and then it was like oh my gosh i am stuck in between and nobody is there to help me now i have to solve all of this on my own i was thinking calmly of all the possible ways okay yeah, if i do this two factor okay uh, i can't buy an, even if i had to buy a new phone also i didn't have because i had to verify the identity all the money is there but to i had to in- edit the transaction limit so all those restrictions were there that was the and for college oh my god do you authentication in terms of security and i also work for uh, ruggers id so i kind of know what it's like to bypass all of that and if i didn't suppose they the data was lost everything i had to set it up or if i had lost my phone and the new phone i was like uh, if i am getting a new phone it should be pixel 7 i i, I knew that for sure but then the, this whole week they didn't release it right so this week and this whole week i couldn't have worked i would have lost that money and then the assignments are all right during the midterm assignments time this had to happen and i lost the three days of time now i can't get back the three days i want to complain about it but i want to work on it and then what all i missed yeah it's fine that's normal this is life right for me it was a good experience the best thing is to do all of it on my own 
I really wish I had some help in terms of at least friends. For me, getting friends help is that was what I didn't want to rely on my own because of the aunt thing and all of that. And to do all of it on my own to have this kind of story, I was like, yeah. Finally, I did this. I'm happy that I I was calm, patient, and solved all of this on my own without anything. And I also spoke for nearly fifteen, sixteen minutes without a single cut. So. Yeah, that's it for this video. <laughs> movie experience. Okay, third year movie. All of that done. Every every time I go to New York City. <laughs> okay, whatever happened has happened. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. See you guys in another video. Bye.